We were also presenting about the dancing spectroscopy, which is a fantastic particle physics project, which is a real-time simulation, where actually as you interact with the space, you become an electrostatic field, and you are uh, affect the visuals and the soundscape. So actually people en masse, hundreds of people at a time, create their own beautiful environments, which they're playing around with in real time, in reality, with people all around them. Dance games represent people um, as little tiny people on a screen. So you're a person and you control a little tiny person on a screen, but we've gone for a much more abstract representation of people. And I, so we've done this dance game. We've combined cutting edge 3D imaging with um, quantum mechanics in massive audiovisual, real time audiovisual experiments with people, large groups of people, crowds. And what we found is that the most interesting patterns arise from old traditional folk dancing. Okay, so it's it's funny. It's like what my grandma was doing back in the early 1900s is actually once you take technology to the max, you find that the old forms of social dance are actually the most interesting because people are cooperating to generate patterns. And if you turn them into energy energy fields and stick them in in, in our exhibition, that's by far more interesting than the way that our generation tends to dance in clubs, which is sort of alienated little groups that aren't cooperating very much. So I actually love it because actually it has allowed us to liberate um, our work from formal environments which is something I've been really passionate about and trying to do for a long time 